you have in your notebook. Listen, some of us, we've been here for many years. You have, you have a flood, an abundance. You have galactic abundance of God's word. It is so much. It is like the size of a galaxy. But which part of the world are you doing? What can you say that your practice in this life has been shaped by God's word? Where are you practicing God's word? That's very important. First John chapter 2 verse 5. First John chapter 2 verse 5. Please quickly. First John chapter 2. Is it there? But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Not just attending church. When you come to church, if you get saved today, by the time you are three months in church, and especially a church that preaches almost every day, and especially teaching God's word like the way we do here, there should be a change. Your practice, your way of thinking, you have accepted that by three months, three months are enough to change somebody's life. Very significantly. First Chronicles chapter 10. First Chronicles chapter 10. Look at verse 13, 14. Let's move faster now. So Saul died for his transgression. Saul the son of Kish. The man who was previously anointed. So Saul died for his transgression. Which he committed against the Lord. Hey, where is the Bible? Okay. Even against the word of the Lord. So his sin was a sin against God's word. Going against what God has said. Even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not. And also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. This man, God is speaking to him. He will not do what God is saying. He leaves what God is saying. He is going to ask from whom? Huh? From people with familiar spirits. And we, if, even today it is happening. What one on Doka Kanisa Sunday? Juma, 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 Neto Nini? Isiku ya Kesho, Monday. Neto wa Juma Nini? Juma Tatu, eh? Juma Tatu, Ndiyo huyo kwa Karumandera. Ako uko sokoni na kwa mandizi anaokota ma prophecies za ina ingine. Na hapa ata miandika scriptures kama 50. Yeah. It's, it's happening. So, so he died for his transgression. And we are told that um, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore, he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Who, who is David? David is a man who has a heart after God. A man who has a passion for God. And how is that evident? He say, you find that in all the Psalms of David, he is highly esteeming God's word. David is one man that is driven by God's word. He treats God's word so special. Hallelujah. Are we saying an amen to that? Lift up your head and say, Father, I pray. Grace to be passionate to God's word. Number three, please. Now, I don't know whether we'll be able to finish this, but let me try by God's grace. Number three, thing to know about passion for God. Your passion for God is not a gift. It's not a spiritual gift. But a choice you make. Your passion for God is not a spiritual gift. It is a choice you make. So God is not somehow going to give you a heart. He is not just going to give you a heart to love him. It is not, it is not a spiritual gift. So that some of us can have it and others may not have it. No, no, no. Because if it is a spiritual gift, then it means some of us can have it and others can, may not have it. Just like all the other spiritual gifts. It's not everybody has the gift of healing. It's not everybody has the gift of prophecy. It's not everybody has the gift of, you know, interpreting of tongues. So, 
love for God is not a spiritual gift. It is a choice you make. That means if you don't make a choice to be passionate towards God, it is not God to blame. It is you and I to blame. If I live here on earth without having a heart for God, it is not God that failed in any way. It is me who failed that. In that, I did not make a choice. I did not deliberately, committedly say, God is my portion in this life. It has to be a commitment. It is not something you are given. It is something you choose. As for me, I'll be a lover of God. Hallelujah. In fact, Joshua said it. Coined it very powerfully there. Joshua chapter 14 verse 25. He saw them in between. He saw the entire nation in between. Jo Joshua 14 verse 25. He saw the entire nation here and there. Sometimes they are there, sometimes they are not there. They are just in between. He said, decide today. Verse 25. Do you have verse 25? Decide today who you shall follow. Then he said, as for me and my house, we shall do what? We shall serve the Lord. That is, we have decided, myself and my family, we shall serve the Lord. We have made a choice. Tell your friend you need to make a choice. Tell, tell them in a better way you need to make a choice. Tell them you need to make a choice. That is to give God your heart. God, by the way, look at this. God is very powerful. He can even force, because God is very powerful. He can even manipulate us. That, that should be 15. Is it 15? Right. Okay, look for it. God is very powerful. There is nothing he cannot do. But in his own discretion, he has decided we are creations of love. He has created us because he has loved us. Yet, he will not push us and dictate unto us how, how we can love him. Otherwise, it will not be, it will, it will not be anything that um, um, we chose. We were simply driven like waters in the river. Is it verse 15? Uh-huh. And if it seems evil, please have it on the screen. If it seems evil, say it unto you to serve the Lord. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your father served that were on the other side of the flood or gods of the Amorites in whose... But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Our heart is for God. We will serve the Lord. That is a choice. Our hearts are towards God. Amen. So if God were to force us, then we are not creation of love. We are not creation of love. That's why you find, even in the family setting, if the wife is doing something, not because she loves doing it to the husband, but because she's forced, then there is no love. And that marriage is in disarray. So check whether your husband or your wife is serving you because she's forced, no otherwise. It should always by a willing heart. I love my husband this much. I love my wife this much. That's why I'm serving him this much. That, that is, that is, that is, that is um, a relationship of love. So God does not force us to love him. Because we are creations of love. He created us out of love. So it is us to reciprocate by loving him back and being passionate. Are you saying an amen to that? Hallelujah. So you decide to give God your heart. I decide to give God my heart. Proverbs 23 verse 26. Proverbs 23 verse 26. My son, give me thy heart. And let thy eyes observe my ways. My son, give me thy heart. I will not take it by force. My son, give me your heart. And let thy eyes observe my ways. I, will not, I created you. Before you are formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I gave you a heart that can love with a capacity to love. 
I've even given you the Holy Spirit who has shed abroad my love for you, for my love in you, but I will not force you. My son, give me your heart. Tell your friend God is not going to force you. Did you see in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20? Even matters of salvation, God will never force people. He has sacrificed, he has availed salvation, he has made all things ready for everybody to get saved. But because he's a loving father and we are creations of love, he will not even force us into heaven. Revelations chapter, Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. January, February, 2020, 2025, 2030, he's still at the door knocking. Even though he created us, he will not break the door and say, I created you. Why are you not coming to me? Why are you not giving me your heart? I take it by force. Then he will cease to be God. I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen. God is asking for your heart. God is asking for my heart. Not just my lips, my heart. Because sometimes we give God our lips. Oh, Father, I love you. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. And our hearts are many miles away from him. I can actually show you. When you say, oh, how I love Jesus, it should be manifested from your heart. And I think that one of the, one of the easiest way to know whether the song <laughs> whether the song is actually telling the heart condition it's maybe when it comes to giving because one of the areas you can check people's love is in the area of giving after you after i have sung oh how i love jesus oh how i love jesus it should be followed oh how i give to god oh how i give to god oh how i give to god because the two they always go together when god said how I love the world. It is, oh, how I love the world. 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 God did not sing that song like that. Oh, how I love the world. Oh, how I love the world. Oh, how I love the world. And I give them my son. I give them my son. I give them my son because I love them. What I'm saying in my mouth, it is actually so in my heart. And it is demonstrated so in my hand. So my heart, my mouth, my hand. My heart, my mouth, my hand. My heart, my mouth, my hand. My heart, my mouth, my man, my my hand. It must be go. It must be manifested that way. It must be going that way. How many Christians they don't even believe in giving, but they say how I love Jesus. You don't love Him. You don't. There is no love where there is no giving. If you can't give, you don't love. No matter how much you sing, you may even sing in treble. You don't. In fact, many times God rebuked the Israelites because they loved him with their mouth, not with their heart. That's why he is saying, give me your heart, my son, not your mouth. Tell your friend for me, God is telling you to give, you, to give him your heart, that you give him your heart, not your mouth. Hallelujah. Tafadari Guza Mambia, God is telling you to give you, you give him your heart, not your mouth. Yeah. Amen. I think you can still do better. Preach further and tell that person, God is asking for your heart, not your mouth. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. God will not break our hearts into our hearts. 
In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 25, let's close with this. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 25 to 27. So next time when you sing, oh how I love Jesus, it should really be heartily, not just in the mouth. Yeah. We can maybe start from verse 24. Let's give it some background. 24. By, mo by faith, Moses, when he was come to ears, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy pleasures of sin for a season. Somebody say choice. Yeah. Can you see choice? He was not forced by God. It was a choice. Why? Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. So when, when you're reading the Old Testament, you must have a lens into the New Testament. So when, when God appeared to Moses in Egypt, God appeared to him as Jesus Christ, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. That is, Moses gave his heart to God. He made a choice. Moses, you either follow Pharaoh and Egypt or follow Christ and in his sufferings in the wilderness. Your choice is yours. So, and remember, remember Moses was not an ordinary man in the streets of Pharaoh's palace. No, he was not. In fact, Moses was a highly esteemed personality. He was being groomed to be the next Pharaoh in waiting. And Pharaohs were not ordinary people. They were revered as deities. They were even worshipped. When you became the next Pharaoh, you and the entire family, you are such a royalty that even when you die, those people that were serving you and they are not dead, some of them will be buried with you so that they can continue serving you in their life after death. That, that was the case. Now, Pharaoh, Egypt at that particular time was the center of civilization. Pharaohs were like today's American presidents. When they spoke, when a Pharaoh spoke, it was a matter settled. So Moses has been educated. The Bible says he was educated in the learning of Egypt. But he made a choice. Moses, you have a choice. You are either going to follow God or follow Pharaohs. But he had a heart for God. Even if it means suffering in the wilderness. Because sometimes following God is not always following good. Sometimes you have to make a very difficult choice. Sometimes challenging. Sometimes you leave the worldly pleasures, places of comfort and the man of Israel in the tent and thrust both of them through. The man of Israel and the woman through her belly. That's why I say maybe they were holding hands because you come on, I know what Dio im kuki irushwe mkuki irushwa na huyu uh, Phinehas, the son of Aaron, ikadunga hawa jama wawili mapenzi. Ikakuwa kwa jama medungwa na hiyo buduki na imetobokea kwa tumbo ya huyu mwingine. Now it tells how they were holding hands. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na walikuwa nafanya hii. Can you just imagine? Yani hata hata tuseme uko na hiyo maneno sana. Ukuta watu wanalia, unaweza kuendelea na maneno yako ya aina hiyo. <laughs> Bere ya Musa. Bere ya Keredekio de. So the plague, look. But this Phinehas, Phinehas, amewadunga na hiyo mkuki. Ametoboa mwanaume pamoja na mwanamke tumboni. And what happened? So the plague stayed from the children of Israel. And God was pleased. Yani huyu jamaa naitwa Phinehas, he was so passionate for God. He could not remember, remember God is telling Moses to go tell the leaders 
to chop off the heads of those who are doing those kind of things. But before Moses and his people can do it, a young man called Phinehas, so passionate for God, without even hearing, yeye amechukua mkuki na amefanya kazi. Ameondoa uchafu katika kambi ya waisraeli. And the Bible says, and the plague stayed. God stopped the plague because there was one passionate young man who will not withstand wickedness in the camp of Israel. Look at verse 9. Let's go. And those that died in the plague were 20 and 4,000. Look at that. No joke. 20 and 4,000. People that had left their heart for God, they had forsaken God. Keep moving, please. Do you have it? I think somebody should help our, this team here because now in Akuja in Apotel and we want to move faster. Yeah. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Let's keep moving. Aha. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Um, let's go, verse 10. Verse 10, please. Phinehas, verse 11, okay, all right. Phinehas, the son of Eliezer. Are we going there? Let's go, let's read all of us. Phinehas, the son of Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel. Why? While he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Look. Phinehas is what? Zealous. That is passionate for me. He has a passion for me. The reason why he had done that is because he has a big heart for me. He will not stand what, what detests me. He will not allow wickedness to continue. He will not entertain wickedness in the camp of the righteous. And God said because of him I have stayed the plague. I have stopped. Why? Because he was passionate. Hallelujah. It's a choice. This is a choice he made. It's a choice you make. It's a choice you make. You don't say, oh, you don't keep on wondering. Why am I not passionate as brother X? Why don't I appear to be loving God the way I see others love God? Uh -uh. It is a choice you make. If you feel like you are not loving God enough, it's because you have not made a choice to love him to that extent. If you can make a choice to love him, we can have a revolution. We can have a new beginning in this matter. We can have a change. How long have you been saved? How long have you been in charge? If God were to bring the scorecard and say, I want to show how people have been in church and give us Mungu atupatie screen kubwa kama hapa pulpit anze ku tuanze ukiingia pale unamlikwa ukiingia tu na, member number 1 ameingia unamlikwa hapo alafu inaonekana ikisomwa hati yako iko wapi alafu ina, inapeana na percentage hata graph inachorwa hapo na charts percentage na chart itakuwa na only two items one heart for god and heart for other things You'll be surprised. Ingine, iyo chat ita kuonyesha ya kwamba 15% for God. 85% for others. Yeah. Yet somebody has been in church for a long time. Can somebody say, I make a choice. Say loud, I make a choice today. Say loud, I make a choice today. I, now, why do you even come to church? Why do you even come to church? Why do you even call yourself a Christian? You'll be surprised that many people have other things even while they come to church. Kunata wengine wanakujaka kanisa kuangalia wengine wemevalia namna gani? Can you just imagine? Yani paka unajisubua namna hii, saa ingine unaweka tagari mafuta, saa ingine unajinyuma hata usingize diokuja uone watu wanavalia namna gani kanisani. <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised. Kuna wengine, maybe wadugu wanakujaka kanisa, kuangalia wanawake. So kanisa ni women display. Yani tuko hapa tunabudu, lakini yeye kwa mawazo yake ni brother. Ni brother. Kwa mawazo, ako kwa brother, tukio kwa nisani. Anatoa wasichana paka nguo. Wamama anatoa nguo kanisani. Eh? 
Tuko hapa pata na ubina na sema receive your miracle Jesus is coming back. But kuna kuna jamaa ako kwa sinema zingine za ajabu ajabu. Huyu dada akimbisha hapa unamwangalia miguu na ndio sababu nakujaga kuangalia miguu ya huyo dada because either miguu inakuwa kama minono ama mifupi ama mirefu ama miembaba. You be surprised. There are people who come to church for those things. There are people who come to church maybe kusikia pastor leo ata make how many grammatical mistakes yeye yeah, anajua english ama ni ni drop out ya class 7 kuna wengine wanakuja ndio wasikose kwa ile kikundi ya wamama unajua baada ya ibada tunakutanaga hapo tunakutanaga hapo na unajua mimi nataka nikae kwa hiyo kikundi ya wamama ndio ile siku nikikufa nitapata wakunizika kuna mwingine anakuja kwa sababu ya watoto Unajua watoto wangu sasa ni wachanga na wamekuwa wameanza kuwa wakubwa wakubwa sasa lazima wakuwe kanisani ninaenda hata kama my heart is not there kanisani mimi kama si watoto hata ningekuwa swimming saa hii <laughs> ama ningekuwa nime stretch miguu na angalia movie ama ningekuwa naenda kutazama wanyama lakini kwa sababu ya watoto nimekuja kanisani look at that people have many things kuna wengine ambao wachana sasa na hiyo inakaa mbaya mbaya. Kuna wengine unakuja kanisani because they, they, they simply have a pious, you know, that is a religious attitude. They just want to pacify their religious quest. Yeah, they, just, they, they are just religious, they are just religious. Kuna ule jamaa alikuja kanisani Yesu alituambia, jamaa wawili wameenda kanisani. Moja ni mfarisayo, mwingine ni nani? Publican mtosha ushuhuru so huyu mfarisayo huyu mfarisayo anainua anainua macho yake anapigia Mungu kifua anamwambia ni mimi jamaa wewe Mungu unijue ni haje unijui hujai kwa nini unikumbuki mimi ndiye yule jamaa nafungaga mara mbili kwa wiki mimi ndiye jamaa achelewi kutoa tithe mimi mimi si kama hao wengine can you just imagine ya yeah, amekuja kanisani aliingia kanisani maybe sunday ama siku yote ile wanakutana huko kanisani yao so yeye amekuja kwa sababu he's religious kuna religious gap iko ndani yake ndiye amekuja kufulfill paka anamwambia Mungu vile anafastigi vile anafanyaga 10 commandments vile yeye anapatia nanga vile anatoaga tithe anamwambia namna hiyo ya yeah. ili hali at the same time kuna jamaa mwingine huyu mtosha ushuru ambaye wanajulikana kwa kawaida generally kama wenye dhambi sana yeye anakuja mbele za Mungu asiweze kuinua hata sauti eh, uso yake anainama anamwambia Mungu tafadhali nisamehe tafadhali ni rehemu Ta- have mercy on me yeah now yeah. and the latter was commended by Jesus because he was not religious he came hardly to speak to god to interact with god why do you even come to church do you know even giving let me show you do you know even giving some people give not because they love but because they are motivated by other things yeah do you remember jesus saying i mean the word of god says that you can give even all you are things to the poor but you may still have no love some people give not because they love so today the lord is calling us we must be passionate for god god must be the reason of our living you wake up every morning saying lord it is not even about money money is not number one it's not even about things god you are my number one I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging us before you wake up ukitoa kabla unaamka na namna gani Kelvin hebu tupate example vile watu wanaamka asubuhi <laughs> eh kwanza uko kwa doto eh doto iko na stages ha, sasa tuseme uko kwa last stage ya doto si ndio alafu nakuta umefungua macho doto imemalizika ulikuwa unaona ukiwekelewa mkono na bisho si ndio amen eh? alafu sasa umefungua macho doto imeisha na unaona ya kwamba eh ni asubuhi ni 6 ama ni 5 ni wakati wa kuamka unafanyaga nini hiyo masaya kuamka hapo hiyo the first 
one minute after umefungua macho umerudi kwa uhai walio hai unatoa blanketi ahe una una relax one minute ehe nikiangalia juu ukiangalia juu <laughs> unaangalia juu kama ishara ya nini giving thanks eh thanks after nikifanya blanket hivi ukitoa blanket na una make sure kwamba hujaondolea yule mwingine blanket namuondolea anga sana <laughs> unamuondolea anga sana at least hata yaamke oh <laughs> Then in a stretch. Lakini si ndio umemaliza, ndio umemaliza ndoto yako. Wewe labda hajamaliza show yake, anaonyeshwa show kwa. Coincidentally, mimi hmm. kawaida na Brangit ana na Laranga Saidi. Ehe. <laughs> okay, Saidi hii eh. Sawa. Na lazima nifanye pande hii. Okay, lazima ufanye pande hii. Eh, si nikitoka hivi nitamfungua. Eh. Utamfungua. So, definitely nitarusha hivi. Ehe. Niangalie juu kidogo. Unaangalia juu. Na... Sasa kwa nini unaangalia kaju? juu kawaida ni ku reflect ni ku ku reflect ku reflect yes una reflect nini 32 32 yes nimelala nimeamka oh. most likely eh mm. sana sana mm. huwa ni ya kuambia Mungu ni asante unamwambia asante within that within that one minute one minute thank you lord thank you lord naamka yeah na relax to sense is wanasema yes uwezi amka direct eh. waende chini at eh. pata <laughs> mwe japanda <laughs> So naamka na kanyaka chini Ehe. na relax hapo kwa hichi ya kitanda. Taika tatu. Yes. Then naenda sasa. Unaenda wapi? Sasa ukienda unaenda wapi? <laughs> All right, tuachane na hiyo sasa. <laughs> Tupigie Kelvin Makofi ametuelezea vizuri. And that is how to wake up. Some of you you don't know how to wake up. That is how to wake up from the bed. <laughs> A simple. Can you just imagine mtu kwa 40 years hajai kujua kuamka. Sasa umejua kuamka. Umekuwa ukiamka kila siku lakini sasa umejua kuamka. <laughs> eh? Yaani the point was, the point was when you wake up ukijisikia katika uhai huu, what comes to your mind first? What comes to your mind first? The first one minute when I'm alive, I'm here. What comes to your mind first? Is it money? Is it wife? Kuna wengine wanaamka wakiwa wametafutana na wife. Brothers bana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Makunda. <laughs> Hakuna kitu kingine kwa kwa kichwa. <laughs> Acha tuachane na mahubiri aina hiyo. Acha nisiharibu tukiwa tunaenda kumaliza. <laughs> what comes in your mind? What comes in your mind? What comes in your mind is most likely what was last in your mind before ulifunga macho yeah yeah it was david who said david said that before i go to my bed i will ha- i will make a place for my god before my eyelids catch sleep i will make a habitation for my god that is akiingia kwa room ya bedroom anakuwa na mawazo ya kufikiria meditation kwa Mungu akiingia kwa kitanda kabla hajafunga macho anafikiria Mungu kabla hajafungana kabisa macho anafikiria about God what is in your mind what is in your mind most of the times when you are walking on the street when you are working in your place of work when you are doing things in your house where is your heart have we given our hearts to God? That's very important. That's very important. In fact, thank you so much. They have brought it. Someone that it told. I will not give sleep to my eyelids or slumber to my eyelids until I find out a place for the Lord. Sasa ujue, maybe atairikuwa ni siku ya maombi. Ameomba mchana, jioni wa mekua na prayer meeting wa kanisani, wamefanya ile prayer pamoja na watoto na jamii yote okay lakini bado wakienda kulala i will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until i find out a place for the lord and habitation for the mighty god of jacob that is a person that has a heart for god 
heart for God. What is God saying in this matter? What is God saying in this decision? I want to make this decision. What is God's opinion? This somebody has done me wrong. I feel like reacting this way. But wait. God, what are you saying in this matter? Because God must be saying something. What is your opinion? I've been hurt. I've been injured in this matter. But Lord, what are you saying? What is in your heart? I don't, I don't just want to be driven by my emotions that are so much hurt. Lord, what are you saying? When you have a heart for God, that's how it goes. That is what we mean by being passionate for God. It's not just coming to church. It's not just singing hallelujah. Heart for God. It is a one There are things you cannot do because you love God. And there are things you must do because you love God. There are things you cannot do because you love God. And there are things you must do because you love God. And all you do is driven with God. I love you. That's why I want, I'm doing this thing. Amen. I made my resolve long time ago that I will preach and pastor and do the work of the ministry because I love God and his people. Amen. It's not competition. It's not because you are trying to be the biggest church. It's nothing like that. It's not nothing like that, that, oh, I'm trying to be, the, I want us to make this church the biggest church. No. Just love God. If he wants to increase us, that is it. If he wants us to do something, why do we even have radio? It's not because we are competing anywhere. It's not. It's because we love God so much. And therefore, we love what he loves. What does he love? He loves souls. I'll be showing you in the second service. God loves souls so much. Now, we love God so much. So, we want to love what he loves. And what can we do so that we can be able to express our love for God is to reach out to souls. What do we need to do that? We need a radio station. So that as we are speaking here, we are speaking to about 2 million people right now. What are we telling them about Jesus? This radio is about Jesus. All we are doing here online is not popularity. It's Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Somebody say louder Jesus. Please let's be upstanding. Stand on our feet please. We are going to make a prayer. Do you remember? Loving God is what? Loving God is a what? Loving God is what? I think some of us are still not here. Loving God is what? Somebody louder sh sh shout choice. And we can make that choice now. Oh yes. We are going to make a hearty prayer. This time round, I suggest your heart, your soul, and your body so your heart must be there, your soul, your mind, then your body. How do I know? How will I try to see whether your, your body is there or your soul is there? By lifting of our hands. We are going to make a short prayer, but make it hearty. We are now in Proverbs 23, 26. My son, give me your heart. We are giving God our hearts from now. Let's see what he can do when we give him our hearts. Can we trust him with our hearts? With our love? Let's lift up our hands. Somebody, Father, I come to you. Say louder, Father, I come to you. I pray for grace and the working of the Holy Spirit in helping me to love the Lord, to be passionate to God and the cause of God. Father, I pray for the grace to love you more. You love me already? Give me grace to love you. And to love what you love. This season and beyond. It is not about things. It is not about monies. It is not about a big name. It is about you, oh Father. Lift up your hands and pray. Now open up our hearts to the Lord. Open up our hearts to the Lord. Pray and commit yourself to the Lord. Rikata basekete brezia, kela basekata bazakata bahaya.
Keria baseke tevre zokro tovradia. Kende bo sheka tabaria satabaha. Lift up your heart to him. To commit yourself to him this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zika tabaharinosa. Riana manaba zika labagadea. Tele bo sika tabarezo vrataya. Teria baseka tabaria seke luda. Brese tele brezo vratala blakaya. Let's speak from the depth of our hearts. It is about him we pray. We commit ourselves to him. Our hearts unto you, our father. This morning, we rededicate ourselves to you. Oh, Rabahanda basaka rabaha. Taraba shaka taba zekelovra. Riaba sekele. Lift up your hands and pray. Commit yourself to the Lord. Your heart to the Lord this morning. In all we do. In all we engage, in all we say, in all our going out and coming in, our lives, our hearts to you, O Lord. We commit ourselves to you in the name of Jesus. Let there go to be a baptism, an empowerment to love God like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything that has been there between us and God, our hearts, whatever has stolen our heart for God. Today we declare restoration. 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 Lift up your hands. Make your prayer passionate this morning. In the name of Jesus. Even those that are with us online on radio. Those that are here. We rededicate ourselves, our hearts to the Lord. To love Him. To love the cause of the Lord. To love what He loves. To delight ourselves in Him, our desire be of Him. In the mighty name of Jesus, Kayatabahaya, Riebosi Katabaye, every robber of our heart for God, we declare this connection today. Whatsoever that comes in between, no more again. In the name of Jesus, Kayata, Bless of Ratayaka. Somebody clap your hands and commit yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, we commit ourselves to the Lord by the help of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of God, that we shall be able to love Him than never before. In the name of Jesus, our passion be for Him, our drive be for Him, our affection for Him. In Jesus' mighty name. One more time, lift up your hands and say, Father, I thank you. You have made provision. Say louder, you have made provision for me to be able to love you. You have given me the grace. You have given me the Holy Spirit. I receive abundance of God's love. And I shall be able to give abundance of God's love. Father, I thank you. Lift up your hands. Now from this altar, I declare that baptism I declare that empowerment. Anything that was pulling you away from God. The desires of this world. The deceitfulness of riches. The lust of the flesh. Whatever that have been stealing your love for God. Let it scatter this morning. In the name of Jesus. Give it up right now in the name of Jesus. Disconnect from the same in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare captives that were stolen from the love of God. I declare released in the name of Jesus. Kayata. And in that atmosphere. I speak God's healing power. The Lord heal your heart. The Lord heal your soul. The Lord heal your body. Anybody sick in your body receive your healing right now. Anybody sick in your heart, receive your healing right now. Anybody sick in your soul, be healed right now. Let the yokes be broken right now. Let the chains be destroyed. Whatsoever that is trying to buffet you, let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I declare your freedom. Freedom to serve the Lord. Freedom to live for God. Freedom to be committed to God. In the name of Jesus. As we renew our covenant and our commitment to God. 
in Jesus mighty name somebody give the Lord a mighty hand of praise somebody say have you loved the Lord shout louder have you loved the Lord with all my heart with all my soul with all my strength one more time have you loved the Lord with all my heart with all my soul and with all my mind with all my body with all my strength hallelujah maybe you're not born again you may have backslidden you used to be born again maybe vibrant and something but you don't know what happened you may be in the congregation you may be with us on radio online you have that opportunity surrender to Jesus receive him today he is a total package of God's love you have that opportunity today let me pray with you and we shall say with them I believe that there are thousands receiving Jesus Christ right now on radio online let's say Lord Jesus I receive you today be my Lord and Savior I accept the sacrifice of Jesus and today I receive forgiveness the mercy of God and the grace of God and I confess I am born again amen put our hands together for the Lord we may have our seats please you have made that prayer either I require any dedication to the Lord or I require to Kuokoka for the very first time. Tafa that in the duration. Use these numbers 0706 127 910. 0706 127 910. Hijari Shukowapi. We just want to know that you have made a prayer of coming back to Jesus. 0706 127 910. Airtel is 0733. 788-188. Now we're going to serve the Lord with our substance. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to serve the Lord with our substance. <clears throat> Amen. Prepare your offerings, your tithes, all our givings this morning as we express our love for him. Give because you love him. In the new covenant, even our tithe, we do because we are acknowledging God has loved us. And we are declaring in our giving, even of our tithe, that the Lord has blessed us. We are giving under grace, not out of fear. Our tithe, our offering, and every kingdom giving. So you can package your offering, your tithe, those that are redeeming for the projects, if you need any envelope towards that, those that are redeeming for the word first preparation, you may ask for an envelope to redeem your pledge for word first, the word first envelope. We have the various platforms, that is uh, M-Pesa platforms, we have the till number for buy goods. The till number for buy goods. 83, 78, 98. 83, 78, 98. 83, 78, 98. Till number, I repeat, especially for those that are with us on radio. 83, 78, 98. 83, 78, 98. This thing is still not there. For those who want to use the pay bill number, either for your tithe or your offering, or any other kind of giving, you can do business number, 222 118. Triple two double one eight. That is a business number for Pepe. The account is GGVHQ. GGVHQ. That is the account. GGVHQ. Then hash. Specify your giving. 
maybe tithe, offering, word fest, projects. But for those that are doing for the project, you can particularly do, you can use the other pay bill. If you want to use that particularly for the project, that is a sound. 30, 30, 30. Account 20, 30, 24, 37, 76. Amen. For those that are redeeming your word first commitment, remember we launched the preparation for word first. Our very, very important uh, conference is our annual national conference. We'll be having a lot happening. 13th to 20th of August. So in the next few days, we shall be hosting the Word Fest right here. We'll be having our churches come. We'll be inviting the entire city here. We'll be having delegates for those days. Delegates means people that we are catering for. People uh, will be feeding them, giving them somewhere to sleep because we are the host church. So our other churches will be here. It's going to be a great moment. For those that maybe you came the other day because we've been doing word first until COVID-19. So the last one was 2019. So we are coming back to word first. Very important meetings. So while I'm about to require envelope on Sunday, you have the opportunity to redeem today. Now come on, maybe you were not in church on Sunday. You can be able to pick an envelope and commit yourself towards the same. Please let's be ready in serving the Lord. Those that are ready with your tight sacrifice, kindly come to the altar. I will love the Lord with all my heart. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I will love the Lord with all my mind. Please lift up your sacrifice of tithe before the Lord. Jesus, we are so grateful. You have blessed us in every our way. We are so grateful. I bless your sons and daughters as we stand at this altar to worship you with our tithe sacrifice. Holy Spirit of God, we acknowledge you as our helper. You have said that the heavens shall be open to give us ideas, to give us wisdom, to give us favor. To give us divine protection, I declare your sons and daughters blessed. I declare in Jesus' mighty name, the remaining months of this year, may you see the special hand of God because of your commitment and your faithfulness in obeying God's word. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Serve the Lord, please. I declare that I love you. I declare my everlasting love for you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I declare. Father, I declare. 